Hello, and welcome back to One Shot on the title screen again. It's kind of time for the final frontier. It's the final last bits of my list, mostly in Solstice mode. It's running out pretty quick. Well, I say quick. This certainly hasn't been quick, but there's not much left now. But before we get into it, I do need to talk about a fair few things, so... You should know the drill by now, strap in. First, I just wanted to mention that something that's been happening for the last few episodes, I finally figured out how to make the videos look good. It was a bit of an annoyance. I noticed just recently that for some reason I've been recording the game at 60 FPS and one shot runs at 60 FPS and normally you'd think that's perfectly hunky-dory and that's exactly what you want. Input and output is 60 FPS. But for some reason, it's just been like creating these ghost frames where if you look at an old one shot video before like three episodes ago or two episodes ago, when there's movement, if you pause, you'll see like some blur, like two overlaid frames. Really annoying. I don't know why that was happening, but I fixed it now. So yay for the last like pointless videos. It'll actually look good. At least it wasn't a very demanding game, so it's not like it's really mattered all that much, but still, it bugged me once I finally noticed. But the main thing I want to talk about is the television remote. We were discussing it in the comments, the uh, the thing where I wanted to find the line, the how do you still have the remote? And I kind of just gave up and I was planning on not including the television remote anymore, because at this point, since I already figured out a way to circumvent it and have the remote in Solstice mode, why not just complete Solstice mode with the remote, just to see if that's when you get the line. Even though honestly I kind of doubt it, because I'm pretty sure this was a thing before Solstice, but I don't really know for sure. But I wasn't going to do that, because I figured that isn't really an easter egg that you can find within the game, because you're not supposed to be able to have the uh, remote in Solstice mode, you're supposed to just wake up and there is no remote because you're New Game Plus. So the only way you would have the remote in Solstice mode is if you cheated the game, like used the save utility and swapped mid-playthrough, which obviously they didn't intend for you to do, and I kind of justify my save autosave shenanigans a bit more, where I do something and then force quit the game and then load a backup or use an autosave, all of that stuff is part of the game that's like coded to behave that way to prevent progress loss and stuff like that. And since I couldn't get the remote without third party programs, I was just gonna ignore it. And I also wanted to have just a, a clean solstice run. I figured that was the best way to go about it. Just a, I've done the whole replay of the game just to set up the solstice run with like everything perfect. And I didn't want to mess with that, but at the same time, I've kind of changed my mind now because we are testing everything. I might as well test that. It won't really affect much. The only problem is it causes a bit of an issue. So to get the remote in Solstice mode, I have to start the game in a first playthrough and then switch it over to Solstice mode after getting the remote, which I can do. But if I do that, I have to quit the game and save. And I don't want to do that because I want to see what Nico says after you initiate Solstice mode and then quit the game for the first time. So I kind of have to... Hmm. I'm not really sure if I'm going to bother with a television remote. I, I think I'll just wing it. But for now, I do have to start by just playing Solstice and starting it, getting to Proto and getting the whole talk and then... We'll see if there's any difference, and after that, I, I might reload and see if I can cheat my way into a television remote. But that also means I would have to complete Solstice mode, and my list actually only goes up to the Glen. After that, I, I don't think there was anything in the city that I needed to test, so not really sure, but we'll see. Anyway, let's... Let's try this out. Again, this is gonna be weird. I don't know how much I'm gonna show on camera. I guess we'll we'll find out. So let's get into it.
so here we are in normal fuck right that's that's my name in normal solstice mode and no remote so for now I'm just gonna start solstice the normal way and let me bring up my list again just so I know what I'm supposed to be looking out for yeah all right I think I have it I also have my auto clicking hotkey all set up I need to make sure I don't abuse that too much though because I don't want to skip past any uh, choices and stuff wait shit I need all this stuff damn it all right so what is the first time the earliest point you can initiate solstice can you just go there right away you can't skip profit bot 1.0 2.0 right I believe I have to do that but I I don't think I need to go into the outposts or get the battery or anything obviously I will want the battery but for now it's fine since I'm just doing a little test to begin with oh shit that's something I should have tested ah uh, I mean it's probably nothing yeah we've met before I was thinking like only talking about the world or the light bulb and not anything else because if I try to do it now I can't but if I do this I don't think I need to talk about going home let's see oh you do really so in solstice mode you need to talk about all four options but in a normal run you can talk about only one that's weird I wonder why why that's different all right fair enough now we know that and this thing we can just skip past that's good and I'll just ignore the screwdriver I'll ignore as much as I can for now But there is something here that I wanted to test. So we get the vision. Wait, did I even need to get the vision? Oh yeah, I did. Because before you get the vision, you don't have the glowing journal. You just have the journal. Yeah, exactly. Okay, never mind. That's another issue if I were to do the, uh, the television remote thing. I wouldn't have the strange journal when I wake up because I would be starting in a new game and then switching over I mean I think it would be fine but it would be a bit weird and I'm not sure if it has any impact on anything else probably not but yeah there there were just minor things that made me kind of not want to mess with the game like with third-party stuff but I kind of don't see why I shouldn't at the same time It's a clover. All right, so we just go normally and then... Yeah, I wanted to have Silver show the Amber to ProfitBot before she gives it to me, which is probably gonna be the same cutscene, but that's something I need to try. And then when she asks me, is this world really just like fake or something? I, I should say no. No, it's it's real. And she also says something about I remember what I did at the end, which should be different now that I've saved Nico instead. Okay, so here we go. Uh I don't know if I need to I think I can skip past quite a bit of this. Didn't it like just save too? Uh, a couple minutes ago. I think that was like when I initiated it, but maybe I should just save that just for now. Just a quick little copy paste. Yeah, so there we go. Right, so we're still not in Solstice because I haven't... Okay, so the save just saved again, so I'm gonna save it again. So now... If I were to quit the game here, I'm just gonna, oh, oh yeah, this action will record the progress. I'm gonna try that and start the game again, and it's probably gonna be the normal thing. There we go. Fuck. Fuck, can you hear me? Yep. What happened? 
So that's normal. And now we quit again. And I just load that save, so I haven't done that. Yeah, there we go. And now... I guess... Hmm... Yeah, I, I guess we can't restore his memory and then go out to the Barrens, because that's like when everything goes to shit. So, I wanted to test going to the big guy in the the Barrens like, oh shit, yeah, I would have to do quite a lot here. Um, oh damn, yeah, starting Solstice actually takes more than I thought. Uh, wait. Wait, no, I don't even need to do it. Okay, so for now, I'm not gonna do that. For now, I'm just gonna initiate it just so we can do the thing where I quit the game and just see if Nico reacts. So I should be able to do this, and I believe it was... Oh, fuck, what was it? Um... I think it was, like, robot... nothing... medical... robot... nothing... energy? Yeah, got it. Phew. There we go. Yeah, oh yeah, it won't matter. Now we know he's profit bot. Before this, we don't know. Because he says, like, you're a profit bot? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, so now I actually kind of want to pay attention a little bit. Yeah, and now we're supposed to remember, so let's see if this is any different. Probably not, because she would just say she remembers what she did at the end. Maybe. No way. Did she mention something about, like, when, when, oh, the world goes into stasis? Did she mention that before? Like, oh, so that's what happened with those blackouts, because now we haven't had any. I can't remember. That might have been different. Alright, well, there was not really much else there to note or take note of. Oh my god, you! Yeah, this is kind of nothing either, right? Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh! Oh, interesting, so we don't even get the cutscene with her showing the amber. So I guess we'll... hmm. I guess we just won't get the amber in this timeline. Interesting. Wasn't there like a choice here soon? I thought so. Okay. So now we talk to her. No, nothing. Yes, yeah, so, hmm, when did that even happen then? I know there was a, a thing where Nico asked, like, well, I've done now, show Amber to profit before given to Nico. That's something I can check off. But is this world really just she asked or something, like fake? When was that? I thought it was just now. And oh, I guess I could have actually quit right here. Did it? Did it just save? Uh, yet? Yeah, well, no, it's like six minutes ago. But I mean, I can make use of that. I can just skip past this cutscene again. Alright, there we go. So now we're back here again, and I'm gonna try to just quit the game here. And just see what she says when, when I come back. Because now she should know that, like, what's happening with those blackouts. And there it is. Dot, dot, dot. Because she knows. Okay, so even if you've never had a blackout before, if you get it after Solstice is initiated, she knows what they are and will just say dot dot dot. Alright, well, that's a thing off my checklist. And now I could actually redo this and try to keep the remote if I want to. And I might as well, I suppose, at least keep it for now. We'll see once I'm done with my list, if I actually want to complete everything else, because that is quite a lot of stuff to do, right? I mean, maybe. We'll see. 
but for now, I'll just quit again. And okay, so I'm I'm gonna use the utility and set it to be a first playthrough. Oh, can I even do this though? Oh man, no, I don't think I can. I'm sorry. I I want to. But the problem now is if I use the utility, so I load my backups from beating the game the first time with saving Nico, never quitting, never talking to Rue, never going to the lake screen. That's what I did as my setup run. Now, if I take those save files and then make that a uh, new game file again, just so I can get the remote control and then save the game after that and change it back to Solstice again to keep the remote control, that might fuck with some of those things. Like, maybe that makes the game believe that it's been beaten again or something. I don't know how that works, and because I don't know how that works, I can't take that chance when I set so much up for this one run. So, no, I'm not gonna do the remote control. It just, it's, it's not gonna work. I can't do it. But because of that, because I can't do that, I do have to, uh... Can I, can I just load this back up? Let me see here. If I'm just here, can I just walk out now, even though I'm technically done with that? Yeah, I guess I can. Wait, hold on. Oh shit, I just realized something else I kind of wanted to try in, in this case. This probably won't be anything, but... Seeing as we can take the memory disk, and then skip past this. And then take this memory disk to ProfitBot 2.0 instead. Obviously that's not gonna be anything, but, you know, maybe he can be the new proto, if he also has like a disk drive. But yeah, I do need to do this so I can get the battery, and... I guess there's not much else. I, as I said, I want to try and talk to the big guy at the, uh, the barracks or whatever, the dormitories, but that doesn't really matter. It's not gonna change anything, so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that. Okay, here, have this. Yes. Oh, no, damn it, that's, I didn't want that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't seem to be anything, so never mind. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can, like, use the memory disk on the, uh, computer. Did I even try this? Did I try inserting the, uh, the energy cell thing, the battery, into the, the generator, and then after now we've talked to... No, I guess, I mean, we've gone past into that unknown, but we still haven't technically started Solstice, which means it would just act like normal, so yeah, it wouldn't really matter. I'm just kind of thinking like memory disk in this thing, but no. Never mind. I'm, I'm not gonna bother with that. It's not gonna be anything and it would just require me to replay even more. I gotta draw the line somewhere here. Wait, let's try and crush the memory disk. Ah, nope. Don't even have a line for that. Too bad. Oh, I don't have the screwdriver. Damn it. Oh, but this is something new. Now she's not in here, so we can just take this. Something is poking out from the shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. And I just take it. Okay, well. There's something neat and new. If she's not in here, you just take it without asking. Kind of weird. Because normally she would be so polite and, like, not want to do that, I suppose. Good thinking, fuck. So there we go. Now we have the battery. And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna mark off the, uh... Speak to Proto, then talk to Big Guy in Barracks. Because I can't do that, because I, we don't really have the talk with Proto until it's already too late to go out there again. So, that's nothing, never mind that. And yeah, then get battery before completing Solstice, that's what I'm doing now. So, that's, that's it. Now I just complete this section. Alright. 
Time to skip past tons and tons of dialogue again. Oh joy. Alright, finally, here we go. Now, we'll just finish this, but... When do you get that question? I, I guess maybe it's after all this? Like, when... When she thinks Proto died and... Silver definitely died. There was one thing that I wanted to try as well. Where I said I wanted to play the entire game in actual New Game Plus and then get to the tower because that that would mean that the computer knows that it's happening again, the world machine, and it would know that saving Nico doesn't do anything. So that would be one thing, but I kind of don't think I'll bother with that because it's it would just take too much time. Okay, so maybe it's around here? Not yet. Fuck, I don't understand. Okay, there we go. Is it? No, because I said yes last time. You're just saying that. Normally I wouldn't believe it, but it just adds up. Oh, okay, so yep, it doesn't matter. It's just a fake choice. Alright, but then we're looking for her to say, I remember what I did at the end. Which I think she might say in this cutscene. Or maybe a bit later. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun. And then everything got really bright. None of it matters now. I see, she doesn't remember the details, because it doesn't matter which choice you did. At least not yet. Oh, right, I was, for some reason I was saying before that like, oh, I'm not going to finish the game anyway, because I only have stuff up until the Glen. That's not true, because at the very end, we do talk about saving the world. Like, she did mention that last time, that she remembers saving the world and doing that, making that choice instead. So, I guess... We would go to the end regardless when thinking about the remote, but the remote just has too many problems. I, I'm sorry, I can't do the remote even though I would want to. And did it save around now? Yeah, it did. It just saved. So I think I might just have to leave it there for today. If I'm lucky, I can do like one more episode of the Glen and then one episode of the ending. Maybe. I might be pushing it. But I'll finish it nonetheless. Thanks for watching the episode anyway, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!